Hello and welcome to Back to Way Bit. Today I'm going to have a play at a brand new 2022 homebrew game called Shooter. Now this is a game that I was quite inspired by by reading the review in the latest Crash magazine. And it looks like uh, they only gave it a 67% rating, which I thought was a bit harsh, but probably because of its uh, repetitive nature, which you'll see when we go into the game. Okay, clicking on the notes there, you can see who the uh, villains are and the civilians, and those are the characters you have to look out for. And I think I'll go Kempston joystick and use my trusty joypad. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to make sure we hit the villains and avoid civilians. But I know on the first level, you'll only get the villains show up. Now, it's quite interesting, actually. Um, the crosshair is very sensitive, sensitive so uh, it does move around very quickly across the screen when you uh, touch your joypad. So you, it's difficult to be precise when aiming your shot but I don't think it really matters so much because no matter where you shoot on that square well oblong card you do get your 10 points so you don't get any extra points if you get a headshot and it really doesn't matter if you miss the body totally and just get inside that rectangular box because it still passes as a shot okay there's my stats killed 16 villains 94% efficiency. That's not too bad. But that is the beginning level. Okay. So we're on the second level. I suppose it's going to start ramping up a bit now. Oh, hang on. I think that was civilian I've just shot. Okay, civilian. Okay, we've got to watch out for civilians in this level. I like the way if you do miss your character and hit the back wall of the gallery the shot hole remains on the next level and continues to stay there. Okay, there we are. There's one, there's one. So I just hit the top, top corner of that board and it scored me 10 points as a hit. It went green. So it doesn't matter where you hit, which I think is quite good due to the sensitivity of a crosshair. But I suppose if it was too easy, the game would be too easy. And I suppose it could get quite boring just going around hitting all the characters as and when they pop up. At least it adds a bit of difficulty to the game. As you go through the levels, the uh, gallery looks exactly the same. Oh, here we go. Okay, I've killed one civilian. Uh, killed 16 villains. Okay, let's... Yeah, okay, speeding up a bit now. Oh, we've got people in the window. Oh, that is really difficult to get them in that top window. As I was saying, this is the uh, same gallery in each and every level. But I think as the levels move up, it just ramps up with different speeds. And again, more difficult targets in that top window. I do actually quite like this game. I do like the uh, shooting gallery style games. And I think if this game had been released back in the 1980s, I would have been really impressed. Okay. 21 villains shot. Missed shots, 7. Efficiency, 67. I think as these uh, uh, levels ramp up, you're going to have a few missed shots because you're just spraying bullets everywhere just to try and get a shot. No, nope, that's civilian. There you go, villain. 
That, yeah, he's a villain. Can't get in though. We'll be careful there's a civilian there. You have to really concentrate on these bits now because it is speeding up a bit. You do have to be so careful not to be too trigger happy. And you do have limited bullets anyway. Very nearly, nearly shot that lady then. Okay. No civilians killed. 22 villains shot. I missed two. Yeah, this is ramping up now. This is faster. Be careful not to shoot civilians. It's difficult to get those in the windows. And civilians are popping up right next to the villains, so you've got to be so careful not to overshoot your crosshair. Like that there. Okay. Villains twenty seven. Miss shots eight. Miss villains five. At least I didn't shoot any civilians on that level. Okay, these are popping up now quite quickly. And again, very closely placed by civilians. Be so careful not to like that. You know what, I'm quite impressed with this game. I I, I do think the uh, crash rating of 63% uh, was a little harsh. I think it's definitely worth 70s to 80s, but that's just my own personal opinion. It is my type of game. See all the bullet holes now in the back of the gallery. <laughs> all my missed shots. Can't get him. He was behind the civilian. No, oh, oh, got a civilian there. This is getting messy. Come on. No, he's hiding behind him again. No, civilian shot. That popped up right in front of my shot. Okay. Two civilians killed, 21 villains killed, missed villains 11, missed shots 12, 35% efficiency. Okay, my scores are dropping a bit now. Okay, this is getting a bit mad. It is, I do like this game, it is really playable. Okay, I killed three civilians there. 19 villains, I missed 13 villains. Oh, 
I wonder when this game ends. I think. Wonder if there's a minimum score you have to achieve or minimum statistics you have to achieve to continue to the next level. Or is it just a set amount of levels where you just try and score the maximum amount? I have a feeling it's score based, but I never actually saw that in any of the instructions. Okay, we're up to level nine. Yeah, the stats are dropping there. Yeah, green for a, a villain hit, red for civilian. They are difficult to get in that window. But as I say, you don't want to make it too easy. Oh, he's right behind him. <laughs> Brutal. That's level 10. 23 efficiency. Okay, that's the end of the game. I got to level 10. Surely there must be more levels than that. Maybe not. If you do know how this game works, then just let me know in the comments. All right, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And I'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye.